around here, we live for September. The pain that brings us together. The success. And the hard-earned bowls. But this year would be different for me. September wouldn't be the same. So what do you do? You make the best of it. Although I dearly miss being in the woods with the guys, I've always wanted to catch a redfish on the fly rod. And here in Mississippi, I met a guy named Mike. And Mike was just as much a fishaholic as I was an alcoholic. And once he found out that I wanted to catch a red on my fly rod, it became his mission, his goal. I can't say enough about this guy. He helped me out and took me in his boat and we set off into the wild blue part of the pun to find the one and only red fish. All right, I'm gonna catch that fish today. I just got invited on a boat. So we're gonna go out, I think in the back bay. We might go up front, I don't know. I'm going to catch a fish today. We're out here in the in the Gulf. Mike was uh, good enough to bring us out here. What's your Instagram? Real Vigilant Fishing. Real Vigilant Fishing. So you need to go check out his Instagram because he's got a lot of cool stuff on there. But uh, he showed me, an Oregon boy, how to actually get out here. So hopefully you can hear any of this because the wind's going so bad. But uh, we're in search of all sorts of different fish. And Mike tells me we haven't caught anything yet. Not yet. Even though I did see a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, stay tuned guys. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to see what we can get a hold of. Yeah, if you would have told me that was a catfish when he was fighting, I would have said no way. <laughs> I can tell just by the way it started to go in circles, they fight the same, all of them. Gotcha. I've never seen a catfish fight like that before. <laughs> they get really big too, the salt water on. Yeah, that's... <laughs> so that's what they call a speckled trout. Yep. They got the T's on the front. Right. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that would probably tear up my fly rod. <laughs> uh, not that side. That side would probably be pretty good. Little ladyfish, also known as a poor man's tarpon. Okay. Shark bait. That's what these guys are calling mullet, I think, in the back bay. That's what they look like, yeah. Yeah, they kind of look like them, but yeah, this one's a ladyfish. It's actually, if you cut those up, it's good uh, cut bait for redfish as well. Oh, cool. What what was this called, the piles? The piles, yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Bunch of old piles. That's why Mike knows what he's doing and I don't. <laughs> That's three to zero. <laughs> <laughs> As the wind started picking up, we decided to leave. Besides, most of the reds were in the marsh anyhow, and that's what we were really after. Do you usually catch reds? Is that what kind of, this is the kind of area you catch a red out of? Yes, sir. Caught some reds, some flounder, some trout. Caught a nice black drum here yesterday. Gotcha. Bait and stuff's laying up on the edge. Sometimes on the tide, gets nice and low. We'll be tailing in here. Yeah, I know nothing. None of this looks like a trout to me. <laughs> even even the trout don't look like a trout to me. <laughs> yeah, we caught some speckled trout now. See if we can get us a red. There you go. Right on. Let's do it. I'm after it. Okay, so we're in this little back bay here, and uh, there are fish everywhere. Neither Mike or I. And if if somebody's gonna catch a fish, it'd be Mike. We can't catch fish, so uh, he's had enough. He brought out the big guns. Yeah, see, they're right over there. There's some. I even switched to a, my regular uh, Winston River flies. He's had enough. Probably a bunch of, bunch of mullet or 
Catfish? <laughs> I want to know what they are. Like they are. The it's got to be like shrimp or something. I don't know. Little minnows. Those are definitely yeah. Right. What happens when you get a whole net full of catfish? Losing my net in the water. <laughs> <laughs> there were so many right there you could have just thrown it anywhere almost at that one spot I, know. One I heard one behind us Oh yeah, they're all over. Dude, nice toss. Uh, I don't know. That looked look pretty cool to me. Nothing? <laughs> there goes another cigarette boat. Is it? Yeah, it's like a little smaller speedboat. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can hear it coming too. Oh, Miami Vice stuff. Mississippi Vice. <laughs> As the day moved forward, we were hunting everywhere looking for a redfish. But the hurricane had put so much fresh water in there, they moved them all out to the salt. I'm going to switch off of this. Did you get it? <laughs> Want me to jump out and push us off? It's pretty crazy how much abuse those little... How much abuse those will take. Yeah. On my drift boat, that's how we get down the river. That's the only reason I even have a registration on it, so I can get down the river. They make you register with a troll motor? Yeah, yeah, they make you register See, anything here, 10 foot and longer. Down here, they don't do that. You gotta have like over, I think, a two horse or something? Yeah. Well, that's how it used to be. State of Oregon, man, they'll tax you on anything. I don't know if this thing's gonna sink or not. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this guy. Yeah, I put that shrimp back in your jig box because I didn't want to open up the big one, but I'll fix that when we get there. Just like his Instagram handle suggests, Mike wasn't willing to give up. This looks like all that stuff that you would that you see him catching reds in. Yep. It's not kind of how it is in Jacksonville. In Augustine area, they're catching a lot of this. The flood ties and stuff like that. Whew. Yeah, you just, you know there's fish in here. You know they're just being turds. I saw wonder, like whenever I was catching them too, I was coming here at like five to like seven. Right. Eight, I was fishing right at dark too, not in the middle of the day. Maybe with that tide moving out, the water would be lower. Yeah, that would be low tide. I think low tide's what, seven? I know. There's like one. Look at right here. There's fish right there. 
You guys gotta be eating something. There's one right here. And I didn't see him. I didn't even see, I can't see him. <laughs> what if they're just shrimp flicking there? We're just shrimp, you know? Even though we hadn't gotten into a redfish, I knew that if anybody could get me into one, it would be Mike. He had all the passion and the knowledge of living a life on the salt water. So follow along as we hunt the famed redfish.